Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Last week I showed you kind of the things that Android P Beta added. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Android P Beta on your Essential Phone. But note that this warning is very serious because there are several glitches and I can't figure out how to downgrade. I wanted to downgrade for this video but I couldn't figure it out so yeah, you've been warned. Now let's get right into the tutorial. Okay, so as I said, this is running 9.0 beta still, but it should be pretty similar. So let's start by prepping the device. So first you're going to go over to settings, and uh, then you're going to scroll to the bottom and go to system. Then you're going to go to about phone, and then advanced. I'm not really sure if I should be blurring this. Click build number uh, enough till where you become a developer, and then you do your password, and... There we go, I'm now a developer. So then you go to advanced and now there's a developer options tab where you need to turn on OEM unlocking if it already isn't turned on and USB debugging. And once that's on, it'll allow your phone to communicate with your computer and for it to send it packages and stuff. So now that we're onto that, we need to move over to the computer side of things. Okay, so first we're going to install our USB drivers. I'll leave a link to this down below. I'm just going to scroll down from this current builds and click to current download current USB drivers. Then you're going to click on that EXE and as soon as it's finished downloading, you say yes and it's going to load up this. And I already have it installed, so I'm just going to click repair. It's basically going to look about the same. And just let it go. There we go. Now we have the dri drivers successfully installed and now we can use them. So we're going to go to device manager, make sure our phone is showing up properly here. And we're going to go to Android devices. We're going to look at that. We're going to update that. If it is if it's already on that, then you want to be on ADB device for it to talk to it properly. It's going to be a little bit different. And I'm just going to say no to that because who needs that? And now we're going to open our command prompt. So do Windows R and type CMD and then click enter. And we're going to type ADB devices and it'll show you your device and that's the serial number right there that'll show you that it picks it up properly so we're gonna go back to command and we're gonna type ADB reboot bootloader it's gonna and that's gonna put the phone into fast boot mode where we can then unlock the bootloader so just gonna show a little clip of that and then I'm going to type in fastboot flashing unlock. Now, the first time I did it, it uh, actually didn't work for some reason. I'm not really altogether too sure why that was. But, you know, second time's charm. So, just type that in one more time. And here we go. Now it's going to say unlock bootloader, so you use your volume key to navigate to yes, and then click power button. And now the phone's bootloader should be unlocked, as is shown by the warning. So let's skip ahead through this boot, because it's really long. Now when this happens, the phone's going to restart back to factory settings. So. Just give it a second. It's got this cool new animation they added recently, which is pretty nice if you ask me. I'm 
I'm just gonna set this all up and I will be back. Okay, so everything's set up and you are going to have to do this. Make sure you set everything up. Then you're gonna scroll down from the top. You'll see this is all, it's all fresh. All, all the apps haven't synced. So I'm just gonna drag in from the top and then I'm gonna click on my settings. I'm going to scroll back down as soon as I adjust the ISO. I'm going to click on system. I'm going to click on about, advanced, build number. I guess I'm not blurring it here. I don't know. It's going to be really hard. Now developer again. Go back to advanced, developer options. Go down, make sure USB debugging is on. And now it's on, allow. Okay. Now that that's all good. We are now prepped for sideloading it. So let's get right to that. Okay, now that that awkward silence is over, we're going to type in reboot recovery. Okay, that's going to put the phone into recovery mode, as you'll see right here. And you're going to have the nice little Android to greet you, which is a good thing. Despite uh, what you might think at first, you're going to hold the power button, click up, and you're going to have access to this menu where you're going to scroll down and you're going to click on apply the update from ADB. Okay, now you're going to have a little thing in the bottom. Now you're going to go and you're going to go to your downloads, go to that file you downloaded, you're going to drag the file onto the command line after typing in ADB sideload and then leaving a space. Drag that on there and then click enter. And then It'll start installing as the, the thing. Verifying update package. It's going to go through percentages. I just skipped ahead right there. And go through a few different things. And there we go. Install from ADB complete. So you're going to click reboot system now. And wait for it to boot and I'm just gonna skip this along there we go we now have Android P except that I already have Android P but I if I had Oreo I would be now on P so now you're gonna go to Android reboot bootloader and it's gonna take it back into bootloader mode And then from there, type in fast boot, flashing, lock. Oh, wait, actually, you're going to type in fast boot, flashing, lock, critical. I tried typing that fast boot, flashing, lock. There's, there's two different ways to do it. I guess the other way is more reliable. But if that didn't work, type in fast boot, flashing, unlock, underscore, critical. And there we go. Lock bootloader. You're going to use the volume key to go over to yes. You're going to click it with the power button. And your device should be all set up. Your bootloader should be locked. It's going to erase all your data again. Just have to start fresh. And uh, yeah, you're pretty much done by now. And restart your phone as normal. Really cool animation really like that animation it's really cool so just 
copy all your data. Well, if you've backed it up, Google probably already has it backed up. I'm just going to go through the install process. And so I'm going to use Quick Step because Nova Launcher doesn't work properly with P. Another note, and it's going to download all my apps slowly. But that's just about it. That's now fully installed and only took 10 minutes for me. Super sped up. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. hope you uh, leave a like. And I'm sorry for the quality. Could be a little bit better. And that's no joke because I totally forgot. No, I totally double forgot because I forgot what I was going to show you there. And I also forgot this. You're going to have to do this first. You're going to have to follow that link I'm going to put in the description. I'm very sorry. I'm not that great at editing yet. I'm trying to do better. But I forgot about a couple things. Uh, I'm going to be a lot more careful in the future. So you're going to want to download that file. And yeah, I'll just skip ahead. Okay, so now you're going to click on that file. And then you're going to click yes. And you're just going to kind of go through this setup. You're going to go uh, install for anyone using this computer. One second. There we go, you're going to do that there. Basically everything else you're going to click next through. I apologize guys, the fact is, is that I've got to go to sleep and I have to get up in the morning and go somewhere tomorrow and the day after. So if I don't get this done tonight, then I'm not going to be able to get it done for a while. So I needed to get it done now. Uh, I'm sorry for the quality, I'm going to try to do better in the future. So now that that's installing, we'll just wait for that. And this should be simple to uninstall once you're done with all that stuff. It'll be fairly simple. Just click uh, finish there. Okay, click finish again. Okay, so apparently this opened in the background and I didn't see it. So you're going to want to click on that. You're going to want to check those three boxes. Those are the things you need, and then you're going to want to click uh, install five packages. And that's going to install the Android SDK tools. So you want to click accept license, <coughs> and then click install. And it's going to go through the install process. Okay, so I skipped ahead, and it's just about done. So, just gonna finish real quick there. And you're gonna click OK. And you click close. And you're gonna click that off. Okay, now. You also need to add ADB to your command line. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. Click on local disk C, program files times 86, Android, Android SDK, platform tools. You're going to double click up there. You're going to copy it. And then you're going to go to your Windows search. And you're going to type ADV or advanced system settings. You're going to click on that, view advanced system settings environmental variables and then you're going to click on path down there the bottom path and then you're going to click edit you're going to click new and then you're going to paste what you copied right there and then you're going to click ok and then ok close it all down and then you'll be able to do all the commands I showed you I apologize for that, but I thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to go to sleep now, because it's like 11.30. Night.